Hey, hey, Push the Red Nation, Dr. Dave here, going to be doing a first look at the Asics Trabuca Max 2, just hot on the market, and pretty aggressive lug system, pretty wide on the bottom, which is going to allow you to grip that uh, rocky or pretty gravelly ground. Super Max Stack Height, feeling pretty soft. Not much twisty there, so good stability for the run. The upper on the forefoot, perforated, so good breathability there. Has a rubberized toe guard on the front. That's good. The toe guard comes up from the sole. On the toe, guard the toe, give you a good toe off. Has a good lacing system with little loops on there, a stretching lace on there, so that's good. So you won't be um, tightly locked in, hitting pressure points on the top of your foot. Definitely don't need that during the long trail runs. Has some good designs on the side, which are also, people don't realize, but the way shoe companies design their logo emblems on the side is also to provide support to the shoe too. There's a pretty stiff heel cup in there and rubberized protection on both sides. A nice heel loop to pull the shoe up. Has Velcro on the back for gaiters. I haven't looked on the ASIC site to see if they sell a specific gator for this shoe, but the problem is you really have to look for special gators if you have ones that go underneath the shoe. Usually those aren't going to work with max cushion shoes because there's not enough strapping. They're for shoes that were produced prior to max cushioning shoes coming out. So you have to really look for the ones that hook under the front lace and in the back in this case has the velcro on the back so if they have a gaiter specific for this shoe and it comes down that far to go into that velcro on the heel that will give you a pretty good protection around the ankle so debris doesn't get in there i'm going to be putting these on within 45 minutes for a 25k race 15 miles, trail race, very sandy and rooty, so I'm hoping uh, I don't get a lot of sand and debris in these shoes because I'll be running without gaiters. So, all in all, a fantastic shoe, pretty lightweight. I think these are a little over 10 ounces for my size, uh, men's uh, 11, but filling them, they still feel pretty light. And I take that back on the side. I actually had ordered an 11 and a half, and now I remember why. Because, and these are all obviously going to be worn for me for more ultras. I'm starting to get back into long distances. And as I'm running them, my feet swell up, mostly in the south, southern United States, South Carolina, where I live. Get a lot of heat, humidity in the summertime, which then makes my feet swell. So if your shoes aren't long enough for that, to allow for that swelling, then you're going to be getting toe jam on the front, which is going to result in bruised toenails. Don't want that. Painful. You end up losing your toenails. So, Asics Trabuca Max 2, fantastic shoe, on sale now all over the place. Check the link down below. Uh, you can get it straight from Roadrunner Sports. And if you want more content like that, give this uh, post a thumbs up. Make a comment down below about what you think of this shoe. Or if there's another trail shoe you want me to try and get a hold of to try out, mention that and make sure you subscribe to the channel so you continue to get all the great content we're pumping out each week. So I'll see you out in the streets, the roads, and the trails. Dr. Dave signing off.